Hey there, Nick Dunithakis here. In this video, we're gonna go over how to set up a custom Vim mapping to let you very quickly copy the current relative file path of the buffer that you have open to your clipboard. So I have a personal blog here uh, using Jekyll, but that's not really important for the sake of this video, but the use case that I wanted to create this custom mapping for is Jekyll lets you cross-link your blog post very easily just by putting in the file path of whatever post that you want to reference here using a custom uh, liquid tag here called post URL, and then it's going to be expected that we pop in some file path here. But imagine this case here where, you know, I have some posts here. Uh, it doesn't matter which one, right? I'm not even reading this. But let's just say for argument's sake that I wanted to link this post here on the bottom to the post here on top. So on the bottom here, you can see that the file path here is like 2021, five, four, bash aliases to prepare recording videos, blah, blah, blah. So without this uh, mapping here, what I could have done is just like very carefully, you know, just started typing out this path here on the bottom and do that. But, uh, you know, that takes quite a lot of effort to do. So wouldn't it be easier if I can just jump to this post here, hit CP here, which is a custom mapping that I have set up, and then just paste it in here. Do a little bit of cleanup, like removing the file extension, as well as this post directory is not important to have here. And then boom, I just have it uh, then and there. Now, I could have done extra parsing here in the mapping to like remove the extension and that other part here, but I wanted to make this custom mapping generic enough to where, you know, it's not just specific to like working with Jekyll because you might just want to copy this file path for some other use case to your clipboard and then paste it somewhere else. So now that we know the use case here that I used it for specifically, let's go over how to create this custom mapping here. And it's not really too bad at all. So I'm going to go to my, uh, what am I doing? Config file Vim. So I have a custom alias set up to very quickly open up my VimRC file here, but here is the custom map here. So I have it bound to the CP keys here. So I just hit CP in normal mode and it all works. And what it's going to do is run this expand command here where the percent sign happens to be the relative file path to the buffer that you have open. And then CR here is going to hit enter. And what's it going to do? It's going to drop it into the plus register, I think. And if you have unnamed plus set up in your VimRC file like this, or probably will work with NeoVim as well, then what that translates to now is this current buffer's path is going to be copied to your clipboard. So uh, just to like break this down even a little bit more, if you run echo expand and then on whatever uh, percent here, like very similar to the mapping here, then on the very bottom here, we can see that we do have VimRC here as the relative path. Why is that? Because if we go back to the terminal here, I actually have my VimRC file. Uh, it is like, you know, in the current directory of where I opened Vim. So going back to here, if I do the same exact thing and we just run this echo expand and then on the percent sign there, then we can see this one is posts and then there's the date of the post there. That is because if I close out this top one here and just open up all the posts here, uh, this post itself is sitting here inside of a post directory. Well, there's a lot of posts here. My God, <laughs> there's like hundreds of them. I think almost 400 at this point. But yeah, you can see, you know, I opened up Vim in uh, the site's directory here in posts and there we go. So that is basically how all of this is set up here. Once again, let's just uh, very quickly open up Vim. And nope, not Vim like that with the actual current directory. Thank you very much. I don't know why I just didn't open the VimRC file. But yeah, this is the bind here. It is in my dot .files. I'll leave a link to this one in the description. Uh, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up because it really helps. Let me know if you're going to be using this mapping or, you know, maybe there is a more efficient way to very quickly just copy the current buffer's path to your clipboard. On that note, thanks a lot for watching and I will see you in the next video.